So today's mission is to fish only fly, and let's get right to it, because I'm excited. Small pea right there on the Clouser minnow. Nice one. Let him go. Little baby bass. Baby one right there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but as soon as I dropped it, nice pee right there, sight cast it to him. Decent one. All right, guys, so I just got this beautiful peacock right here on the uh, on a white clouser minnow. Look at that. Look at that right there. White clouser minnow right there in the corner. Beautiful fish. All right, let's get the hook out. Look at that guy right there. Nice pee right there. All right, let's let him go. Got him. Dang guys, big old Mayan cichlid right there. Look at that. All right, you guys, so I just got this uh, beast Mayan cichlid right here. Destroyed the Clouser minnow right there. Look at that guy, all right, get the hook out. I had a smaller one come after it, and then this guy destroyed it. All right, hook out. Big Mayan right there. Let's let him go. That's the lure right there, Clouser Minnow getting the job done today. Right there, Clouser Minnow. So real quick, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the gear I'm using because I know some of you guys like to know uh, what type of gear I'm using here. This right here is a White River uh, Dogwood Canyon uh, fly reel, 5.6 weight. And the rod I'm using is a 5.6 weight Dogwood Canyon nine foot rod. The fly that I'm using is a all white Clouser minnow. This thing has been catching everything today. I caught, so far I've caught largemouth, Mayan cichlids, peacocks, all kinds of stuff. So a couple hits on this and uh, the eyes are already peeling off, but I got some, some of the dumbbell eyes here. These are plastic, so they're not weighted. The only weight on this is the hook. And I've got 
a little bit bucktail on the top, a little bucktail at the bottom, and I got a little bit of crystal flash in there, and that's getting the job done today. So that's what I'm using. And I got a, I believe a two watt Mustad Osha Ganassi hooks long shank. This is getting the job done today. So let's see if we can get some get on some more fish. For those of you that are new to the fly fishing world, and or if you've never done it before. I'd highly recommend getting into it. It's pretty, pretty fun. For a type of fly to use, I would recommend anything white because anything that's white will imitate some sort of bait fish of any kind. And I've been using all white for a long time. Caught a lot of fish on uh, lures that are all white. Seen that largemouth sitting right there in the corner and I just got him. Oh, he came off. I didn't even fight him. I flipped him like right away. Little largemouth right there. I seen him sitting in the corner and then as soon as I popped my fly right next to him, he ate it. Little largemouth right there, caught on fly. Let's let him go. Well, I just lost my fly in the tree. That's great. All right, we're gonna go with the uh, pink and white clouser now. All right, we're retied up. And now I have the uh, pink and white clouser minnow. Got a ton of fish on my fly right now. Big old cichlid and a bass. Oh, that snook came after it. Dang it. Snook just came after my fly. Small snook. Nice large mouth right there. Sight casted to him. And that pink and white fly right there. All right, you guys, nice little largemouth right there on the fly rod. Nice one. All right, let him go. So that's a wrap for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. For those of you that are new to the channel, Please hit that subscribe button for more videos like these if you want to see some more South Florida fishing, fly fishing, anything like that. Hit that subscribe button down below. I did pretty good today on flies, so I'm going to be doing a lot more fly fishing videos for those of you that want to see more fly fishing videos. I will also be doing start doing some fly tying videos and showing you guys how to tie up flies. So as always, I will see you guys in that next video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See ya.